NSFW, what unexpectedly turned you on? A couple years back, my girlfriend at the time and I used to have sex while Pandora played. Every once in a while a car insurance commercial would play in the middle of songs. We laughed it off, but it didn't distract us from doing the deed. Fast forward a couple years forward and I hear that same car insurance commercial. Instant erection, paging Dr. Pavlov. Ding dong Pavlov, oh crap. L forgot to feed the dogs backslash the reverse Pavlov effect. So when I was in my early teens and just discovering sex, I decided that since I was a bit of an artist, I could draw porn for myself. I started with a Vargan that was all well and good, but then I decided to try a dick and suddenly sproing I was not expecting that in the slightest. Paint me like one of your oppressed tendencies, taking a Greek mythology course and the TA, a curvy redhead, said if you want to talk about mythology for hours on end, I'm your girl. This comment did it for me. My girlfriend when she picked up a knife, didn't expect that one. Edit, to be clear it was a normal butter knife and we were at dinner, she just happened to lick something off the blade and suddenly I was pitching a tent. She in no way was attempting to murder me. Had me worried for a second. A girl I was friends with had apparently been giving me hints for a while that I hadn't been picking up on. One time we are hanging out and she goes to take a pee. She yells at me from the bathroom to come here. I walk up to the door and ask her what she needs. With no hesitation she says, come in here, I want you to watch me pee. Unexpected turn on for some reason. Well, did you? My fiancé makes this sound when he's turned on by something I'm doing or that he's looking at on me but it can be a problem sometimes because he sometimes uses the same sound when he sees like an ad for food that looks really good. Is it the deep growl thing in his throat slash chest? It's the Tim Allen grunt. Older women who give off Dom Mommy vibes. Once had an older woman with that short silver fox haircut and a stronger jaw call me a good girl while I was at work because I did something right with her order that nobody else could for some reason. I'm a relatively straight female. Or am I? Well fuck, Ike. I wouldn't consider myself submissive but if an older woman exerts any type of dominance or power I will immediately get a lady boner. That scene in Golden Eye where Xenia on the top squeezes that guy to death awoke something in me at a very young age. She always did like a good squeeze. When my husband looks back when he's backing in the car. Same. You leave her husband alone, you hussy. Physical therapy, a no bullshit Indian lady is working on my neck. I start to droop my head, she unceremoniously yanks me back into position, keep your head up. Damn, yes mistress. That's how I feel when I get my eyebrows threaded. I'm a straight girl but when the Indian lady tells me to hold tight my eyebrow, and when I let it loose and they tell me to do it again, I get a little lady boner. Yes ma'am. Fingers. Long and lithe, or thin and short, male or female. Something about graceful fingers turns me on. When I was a freshman in college an English boy in one of my classes said the phrase war of attrition with his English accent and I had to go take a breather. Shame that there's a lot of British accents that makes us sound like we are having a stroke edit, thank you for my first gold stranger smile. When I was at the airport and had like 20k knock in cash and wanted to exchange it to euro. Took me a long time to count but this bank woman at the airport just took my money and did some magic with her fingers that went so fast I couldn't believe it and she knew within seconds how much money I gave her, but more than that the whole way she acted with the whole transaction was so unbelievable professional. I have never experienced anything like that level of professionalism in my entire life. How could I not be turned on by the most pro woman I have ever seen? I don't know what it is. But something about the just woke up look really gets me. Like messy hair and loose pajamas. Shit's my kryptonite. First off, I'm a guy. So my high school had a dark room for a black and white film photography program, I was the only boy in the course, there were about 10 to 15 girls in the class, I was pretty good, and by my junior year, I had been involved in the program longer than any other student. 
Having so much experience led to me being a good place to go for advice on printing their photos. I would go to their station to figure things out, and the same three friends of mine, that were girls, in that class, would come up behind me and rest their chin on my right shoulder, and that would always, wake me up. I never expected something like that to send goosebumps up and down my body, and warrant a reaction downstairs, but it happened, and I took it in stride from then on. Not the same thing but I had something similar where I was talking to a female co-worker one day about back pain and for some reason she started telling me how your spine alignment or something can be related to your mood and proceeded to run her fingers from the top of my spine to the bottom twice to check my alignment and I'd cry but that shit sent me and just goes to show human touch is a very powerful thing. She was changing your mood. Did it fix your spine? The fact that the guy I like likes to be insulted, you like that? You fucking retard. Late to the party but whatever. Being in my tent. Like. I don't even know. When I'm camping and I retire to my tent, slip into my sleeping bag and zip up the little tent door. I have no idea but apparently that really does it for me. What a strangely pure fetish lol. On the phone with this guy, there's some history with us, and he said shut up, bitch mostly jokingly. Instant and confused arousal on my end. An ex-boyfriend lecturing me about money. I don't think it was the context, just the way he did it. Like a stern father. He did a lot of things in a stern disapproving dad way and Ike it was hot. I guess this means I have daddy issues Ike. In modern times it seems like daddy issues but it basically is your brain saying he sounds like a dad when he does this. He would make a good dad. I should make him a dad. I should mate with him. Or something along those lines. I wouldn't worry about. Fear. Years ago I was playing the first Bioshock with an ex in a fully darkened room with a wall sized projector. At some point we came across an operating room where the lights were flickering, blood everywhere and then got jump scared by a psycho doctor. Full on threw that controller across the room and jumped into his arms. Shortly after we got busy. Years later when my mom died I uncovered her old stash of Omni magazines where I found an article on the fear response and sexual arousal and it all made sense. Edit, to add a link. Watch at the risk of feeling frisky. https colon slash slash u2 dot b slash b924 mj1 kg fm. For anybody interested, this phenomenon is known as, misattribution of arousal https colon slash slash n dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash misattribution underscore of underscore arousal. The physiological processes involved in sexual arousal, such as adrenaline rush, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, sweating, etc., are very similar to those involved in fear, so in the right contexts fear can be confused with or can amplify sexual arousal. The same is the case for anger, which perhaps explains why a lot of people enjoy hate fucking. There was a girl I worked with who kind of got on my nerves a lot. Then one day she started going on about how much she loves bats, and I instantly wanted her. The juxtaposition of basic betch and weird obsession with an unusual animal really did it for me. As someone with a couple of guilty basic bitch pleasures and an unhealthy obsession with axolotls, thank you, there is hope for me yet. Did you say axolotls? Smirking face. I really like having my knees rubbed. I could have an orgasm over it. Edit, I'm a woman for anyone curious. Also thanks for all the him references. I totally forgot that Robin Sherbotsky likes this. Since this is also one of my more upvoted comments I feel a lot better about my weird knee rubbing thing. Nothing gets me hot like a nice wibbly wobbly pair of knees. This guy I was seeing called customer service to get a company error corrected. He used the softest, firmest most understanding tone I've ever heard and I lost my damn mind. My friend will look me in the eye when I'm talking to him and like raise his eyebrows and shit to show he's listening and god damn is it hot. Maybe it's a female stereotype but good listeners are hot lmfao. I get it. I have a friend who does the same and it's incredible to feel like you're the most important person in the world to them, even if just for a moment. I accidentally pavloved myself. 
There used to be this porn I watched with two chicks in it that had no audio other than music by Disturbed. Years later Disturbed came on the radio I instantly got turned on. Was so confused for like 10 seconds. Oh ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You walk out like a cum stained hurricane. Was in bed with my girlfriend and the remote was at the end of the bed. I sit up and basically lazily reach for it on all fours. I'm in some boxer briefs that have a pouch like thing for your junk so when I bent over my ball bulge was pretty much in her face. She just playfully punched me in the balls and it hurt and stung, but I almost instantly got hard. I'm now laying on my back holding my balls in protection. She can see the outline of my obvious boner though and starts laughing confusedly. She volunteered to blow me as an apology and since I was already hard. I asked her to tap my balls a little throughout and I nutted harder than ever. Basically now all of our foreplay commences with light ball busting. Cock and ball torture. I'm not a fan of anything aggressive and honestly after months of doing this, don't see myself doing anything more than the slaps slash punches and squeezes we do. I had her kick me once and she didn't really know how much harder a soft kick is than a soft slap. Needless to say the pain shot through my balls and into my soul. Never again. My favorite is when we are lying on the couch or I am just getting out of the shower and she grabs me by the balls and directs me into the bedroom. Also long distance cum shots with slaps during climax. I don't have a medical fetish, but for some reason medical scrubs do it for me. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Likewise, no fetish, but a well-fitting pair of scrubs is hot. My wife doesn't really ever swear. Except when we are doing the deed. Then she throws around f-bombs freely. One day she kicked the corner of the table and screamed out a loud fuck. I had a Pavlovian response in my shorts. Twelve years ago my wife said fuck me like like you paid for it. I still think about that. Really makes you think. Went to yoga with my lady friend. At the end of the class, the instructor had us all lie on our backs on our mats and she was humming or lightly singing. Then she rubbed a lemony oil on our shoulders and foreheads, and the touching and humming gave me a brain gasm and I've been into ASMR ever since. My lady friend did not like hearing how much I enjoyed the conclusion to the class. A mistake I never repeated. Edit, lotion switched to oil. It just happens. I just went to a barber shop for the first time and the available barber was a female. I figured I'd be safest with her. All the other barbers are large men with lots of tattoos. Which I find sexy as hell. Long beards, sharp hair, unf. So said female barber starts working on my hair and I instantly got a lady boner. She was so precise with her hand movements, not one motion wasted. The gentle deliberate way she worked on my hair, faded sides, I have a mohawk of sorts, and the straight blade cleanup really got my juices flowing. She was definitely not my type but it did not matter. She put a warm towel on my neck and gave me what I am so glad was not the best massage I'd ever had. Because if she had I'm pretty sure I would have moaned audibly. In 30 minutes I had so many shivers shoot down my spine and as a result I definitely needed sex. She was nothing but the perfect example of professionalism and respect. But she was so skilled that I noticed through her hand movements. I only had to say once what I wanted. She heard every word and executed it perfectly. Passion for your work may also be a thing of mine. LOL. Precise movements totally get me every time too. Someone acting out of character, so a shy guy suddenly being aggressive or a loud dude being quiet, in a situation that might call for it. So like a big loud dude being soft towards a cat, or a quiet dude defending someone in a fight. Once my very quiet and innocent friend who never curses said bitch and I've never been the same since. I had a friend in school who was the archetype good girl next door. Sweetest person you'd ever meet, never got detention. I heard her say fuck once and my jaw made an audible clunk as it hit the floor. Was a chubby little 15 year old virgin at a concert. Had never even seen a guy shirtless at this point. The only reason I went to the concert was because someone else offered me a free ticket. One of the band members suddenly did a hip thrust while singing and damn. I'm 20 now still not over it.